morning. So we are busy with our homeschool day and I have taken a vlogging break over the past few days just simply because I felt that other things needed my attention so I put that a little bit to the back burner but I am back and we are going to do our vlog today. I eat all what gone. are you eating? Okay go throw it in the trash if it's all gone. Oh, the kids are having a little bit of chocolate and candy since they did so well for our little project. <laughs> So let's show everybody what you've been. Mason has been begging me to do a Halloween project. <laughs> yes, we do realize it's not even September. Hey, no, Maggie got your first candy. I got mine. So we haven't finished them, but they are drying. So this is what our project is. Can she have one, and I'll get you another one, please. Here. Thank you. Oh my word! They're fighting over candy. So anyway, Mason's been begging to do a Halloween project, so we decided to do a little art project this morning. We've done our Bible, and we've done our um, Bible. Yeah, Bible and art today so far. All right. <clears throat> so we're a little bit behind on the boxcar children since I had to work on Monday. So we are going to do some uh, reading, and we're going to get a pretty close to the end of the book um hopefully by the end of the day it may take us some reading this this evening though right yep but we'll read a couple chapters today do you like those are we getting into the fall spirit wait, around mom. here wait mom wait is this all we've been reading right here mm-hmm a lot huh we have not been reading that much yeah we have what we're on page 100 mm -hmm. 101 all right, let's keep reading. Remember their grandfather found out about them? Uh-huh. All right, so James Henry Alden, that was the name of their grandfather, right? Mm -hmm. Was a very rich man. His big mills stood just between Greenville and Silver mm -hmm. City. Now, J.H. Alden liked boys. He liked to see them running and jumping and playing. So each year with three other rich men, he gave a field day to the town of Silver City. And even the mills were closed on field day. Every year the boys were in training for the races. And not only boys, but men also. Thin and fat and girls trained for men. The days went by happily for the boxcar children. They found more treasures in the dump. And Henry worked every day for Dr. Moore. So, we are making some macaroni and cheese for lunch. And Jacob and I are working on a chant for his science, um, famous scientist which is really fun. So, he, I was texting Jimmy, but he thought I was taking a video of him, so he took off running. But I really wasn't, I was just texting Jimmy. <laughs> so anyway, making some lunch. Uh, Mason has, you're gonna go somewhere? Okay, contacts? Okay, you can talk if you want. So uh, Mason has science left, and other than, oh, and memory work. Science and memory work, and we'll be done with his school. And then Jake has a few subjects left and he will be done as well. It's 2.20 and we got kind of a late start today. Um, but I had a really bad upset stomach this morning and I could not start on time. And I have no idea why. So just one of those things. I'm just kind of going with the flow. But um, hopefully we will finish fairly on time and I've got um, some laundry going and then in just a few minutes I'm gonna go tackle the upstairs because it really needs some attention so just a normal day so I wanted to show you guys a project that I've been working on this week that I'm really excited about so I saw <clears throat> I can't remember who I saw, but I had saw some, someone's crochet, um, like doll or something they had made earlier in the week, and it got me really wanting, wanting to make something. So I went to Michael's, picked up a book and some um, yarn, and I made a little crochet fox this week, and I'm really excited about it. Are you okay. ready to finish your... Mm -hmm. Yep, Einstein. So second thing you know, my, oh my Einstein, Frankenstein, not Einstein. Um, yeah, here's the fox that I made. So here he is, Mr. Foxy. Foxy, Foxy. He's 
spent like a little. thousand days on that. And I'm money, mommy. mommy. Uh, I made them in like what four days, maybe. Yeah. Just probably, working on them here and there. Probably like four or five. But I'm pretty proud of him. I think he turned out good for my first little stuffed animal project. So there's his tail. Ooh. And there's several other um, little creatures in the book. There's like uh, elephant. And there is monkeys and frogs and just all kinds of cute little stuffed animals. So I'm going to get started working on another one soon. Hey, Mom. What, I'm not going to do with this when I'm done. What? Well, when I'm done with this, I'm going to show it to Dad. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm going to take one of the shirt things and hang it up on my wall. Oh, okay. A Frankenstein. Yeah. Look, my umbrella. <laughs> Your umbrella? Yep. I can't wait to finish this. And look. What? There's my symbols. Yep. They're, they're dry now, so now we just have to do the um, squigglies and the mouth and the stitches on his face, and then we'll be done. And we got to paint them. That was well, fun. I know, how, I know how to do the stitches. You do? Mm-hmm. So take a little tiny paintbrush and do red marks all over it. I'll show you. I think it's black, and we just need a black marker to draw it on. They're really excited about their Frankenstein. They're having a blast. Even though it's not anywhere close to Halloween. Halloween. I guess it is kind of close, maybe. Sort of, kind of. Alright, I'm going to drain this pasta. It's only once You know? Yeah. 67 days? 67. Mason's my holiday countdown boy, so he's on the countdown for... I smell Halloween, even though mommy doesn't really like that holiday very much. Mm, that was good. Hey, hey um. Oh. Oops, my back up. That's hot right there. It's the oven. Alright, so we're getting ready to do our classical conversations, memory work, week two. Alright, listen. Oh, wait a minute. This is timeline. Where's our weekly? There it is. I was just going to take you like five minutes. Not long. Ten minutes, maybe. Okay, well, I guess I'll just take a break. Cause I, I you could read during the ten minutes. That would be good. Classical conversations. Right. Let's do week two. Cycle two, Listen. memory work, week two. Right, so this is how we do our memory History work History sentence. Tell me about William the Have Conqueror. everything up there on the board. After the church split into Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox, William the Conqueror defeated King Harold of England in 1060. After the church split into Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox. I want to hear you. William the Conqueror defeated King Harold England in 1060 to your teacup and started feudalism and started feudalism. Oh, OST must is unt. OST must is unt. OST must is unty. First conjugation, present tense. Good. Science. Okay, we're going to do the song for, do you remember, who remembers the song for European Waters? Uh, European Waters, that, that Jesus, that gives us hope. Mm -hmm. But do you remember the song? Let's do our math. Threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. 24 and 27, 30, and we're done. 33, 36, fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. Singing fours is really great. Good. Don't touch Maddie's chair anymore. What are three types? Types. Types, types of consumers. Three types are herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, or types of consumers. What are three types, 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 types of consumers? Three types are 
herbivores and carnivores and omnivores, the giants of consumers. Say it slower. Herbivores. Say herbivores. Herbivores. Herbivores eat what? Um, Plants. Yes. Carnivores. Say steak. carnivores. They eat what? Steak. Meat. And omnivores eat both plants and meat, right? So we're going to take a bite out of our plant and meat. <laughs> All right. What are three types, types, types of sides of consumers? As up here, three types are herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. The types of consumers. Herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, they're types of consumers. Good. Is that too fast for you? Okay. European waters, North Sea and Baltic Sea, Adriatic Sea, English Channel, Mediterranean Sea. Good. Let's do it one more time. One more time. European waters, North Sea and Baltic Sea, Adriatic Sea, English Channel, Mediterranean Sea. Good. Mediterranean Sea. Very good. Okay, we have English. A pronoun replaces a noun in order to avoid repetition. Say repetition. Repetition. A pronoun replaces a noun in order to avoid repetition. Okay, ready? A pronoun replaces a noun in order to avoid repetition. Now let's sing it. A pronoun replaces a noun in order to avoid repetition. A pronoun replaces a noun in order to avoid repetition. A pronoun replaces a noun in order to avoid repetition. Sing it like a mouse. I finished my project and I need something else to work on. So, oh, oh, are they still on sale? I hope they are. Oh, yeah, the whole stock of yarn is buy one, get one half off. So that's good. So let me see what color. 